this is a demo video on how to rewire the West Bend popcorn popper, they're called the Poppery, into a coffee roaster. I learned this technique from a coworker who I'll link to his blog posting about how to do that here. Um, but the idea is that there's um, two devices within this um, unit. One of them blows air, the other one uh, heats the heating element to make the air hot to uh, actually roast the, the coffee. And so the idea is to rewire it so that when the device is plugged in and the switch is turned on, you both get the hot air and the blowing action. Uh, but when you actually turn off the switch, then the heating element is disabled at that point so that you can cool down the beans by keeping the fan going. So you just crack the unit, rewire it, and then you're ready to go. So when you turn the unit over, you'll find um, four footings with uh, Phillips screws in the middle. You just unscrew those. Then you can remove this bottom plate. You'll see three small screws here, which have to uh, be unscrewed as well. You need a slightly smaller Phillips. And then you can just remove this plate. We'll look at the three main uh, electrical contacts within the unit. And I just want to point out that the power cord comes in here uh, and splits off into uh, these two contacts here. Then from this contact, uh, you have uh, the wire running around to the front of the switch in the front of the unit and then back to this middle contact. And then these two red wires power the um, fan that uh, blows air through the unit. And then finally, these two small silver contacts in back, those are the contacts that uh, feed power to the, electric, to the uh, heating element. So the, what we're gonna be doing is we're only gonna be moving one contact. It'll be this red line here which powers the motor, we're moving it from this contact to this contact so that when you plug in the unit, the fan will automatically come on so you can blow cool air through the unit. And then when you're ready to roast the coffee and, and enable the uh, heating element, you flip the switch in front and that will power the, uh, the uh, heat to the unit. So I'll just make that change now. These nuts in my ratchet set fit um, 11 30 second uh, ratchet, so I'll just undo these nuts. And of course, I lost a nut down in the middle unit, but I'll turn it over and shake it out when I need it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this top power uh, wire to the switch just to get access to this uh, red power wire that powers the fan. And I'm just going to move it from this contact over to this contact. And then replace the switch um, line back to the, uh, the middle um, contact. Got to shake out that other bolt. Put the second bolt back on. And tighten them back up and just close the unit back up in the reverse process that uh, you opened it. All right, we're done. Flip it back over and test it. When I plug this in, the fan will immediately come on. I can feel cool air blowing through the unit. And then once I enable the switch down here at the bottom, I feel the hot air coming out. So you roast your beans. When you get to the point where you want your, the roast that you want, you switch it off, let the fan still blow, and uh, your beans will cool off. So I hope that uh, that was a useful video on how to uh, rewire one of these things for coffee roasting. I picked up mine on eBay. It was about $50 in an auction. I tried several auctions. They're all about that price. So I don't know if they've come down or up since then. But if you're interested in the actual roasting process of the green beans, I'll link to uh, a YouTube video that I shot with a coworker that showed me how to use this device. And um, you'll see how that goes. So happy roasting.